What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream. Think about your dream right now and envision it. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. I mean, most people don't work on their dreams. Why? They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. These are not risk takers. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning that in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you could ever begin to imagine. Align yourself with people that can encourage you, people that can empower you, people that you can learn from, people that you can grow from. Look at your life, look at where you want to go. Don't worry about your circumstances. Don't worry about your age. See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams, yes to your unfolding future, yes to your potential. Why not? The future is unfolding for you right now. The future is unlimited for you right now. No one knows where you can go. No one knows what you're capable of or what's possible for you. We have the power to change our personal history, changing the direction of our lives, changing our thoughts, changing where we want to go, exploring new horizons. So as you begin to look at this decade and affirming that this is your decade, as you set goals that will make you stretch, that will bring out the best in you, as you begin to remove the negative, toxic people from your life, as you decide to take some chances in life, and that's one of the things that's very important. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you cannot be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? There will never be a point in your time, in your life, where it's the right time to do a great thing. If you're waiting for that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing, it's not going to happen. You know what you have to do? You have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation. So that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing. They stop wanting anything. They, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it, that you talk yourself out of it? You're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you, it may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal.